Difficult English Vocabulary Quiz from EspressoEnglish.net Do you think you have a good understanding of English vocabulary? Today's lesson is a challenging quiz to test your knowledge. Choose the best word to complete each sentence. You'll have five seconds to answer, then keep watching, and I'll show you the correct answer. You can learn hundreds of English vocabulary words in my Vocabulary Builder courses. Click on the link in the top right corner of this video or in the description for more information. Okay, let's get started. Number one. This medicine is from a tropical plant. A. Deprived. B. Derived. Or C. Derisive. The correct answer is B. Derived. This medicine is derived from a tropical plant. If something is derived from something else, it means it came from there. It originated there. Number two. The new law will the entire community. Everyone will be affected. A. Impact. B. Impede. C. Impress. The correct answer is A. Impact. The new law will impact the entire community. Everyone will be affected. The verb impact means to affect something. Number three. My coworker was fired for accessing the manager's computer without his A. Consensus B. Consent or C. Contempt The correct answer is B. Consent. My coworker was fired for accessing the manager's computer without his consent. Consent is another word for permission. It can be used as a noun or a verb. Number four. Your idea was good in theory. There were just a few problems with the A. Implantation B. Implementation or C. Implication The correct answer is B. Implementation. Your idea was good in theory. There were just a few problems with the implementation. Implementation refers to putting things into practice. Number five. As a teacher, my primary concern is the of my students. A. Welcome. B. Well off. Or C. Welfare. The correct answer is C. Welfare. As a teacher, my primary concern is the welfare of my students. Welfare is another word for well-being, referring to general health and happiness. Number six. Your performance. Our expectations. Good job. A. Exceeded. B. Excelled. Or C. Accept. The correct answer is A. Exceeded. Your performance exceeded our expectations. Good job. To exceed means to be more than or higher than a certain level. Number seven. Senator Jones is an. For a higher minimum wage, she says everyone deserves to make a fair living. A. Adversary. B. Advisor or C. Advocate. The correct answer is C. Advocate. If you are an advocate for a cause, it means you support that cause and work to make it happen. Number eight. If you don't stop overspending, you'll run out of money. A. Inestimably. B. Inevitably. Or C. Inexhaustibly.
The correct answer is B. Inevitably. If you don't stop overspending, you'll inevitably run out of money. If something is inevitable, it means it is impossible to avoid. It will definitely happen. Number nine. Fortunately, the storm caused only damage to the building. A. Minimal. B. Minimize. Or C. Minimum. The correct answer is A. Minimal. Fortunately, the storm caused only minimal damage to the building. If something is minimal, it means it is very small. Number ten. I wasn't feeling well, so I was. To go to the party. A. Reliant. B. Relinquished. Or C. Reluctant. The correct answer is C. Reluctant. I wasn't feeling well, so I was reluctant to go to the party. If you are reluctant to do something, it means you don't want to do it, so you hesitate. How did you do? Leave a comment under this video with your score. If you can improve your vocabulary, you'll have a lot more ways to express yourself in English. You'll be able to say exactly what you want. Instead of trying desperately to think of the right word, sometimes students ask me for lists of the most common words in English. But I don't think memorizing lists is the best way to study. Instead, you should learn words in context, in families, topics, and with visual aids, pictures. What's even more important is to practice the new words so that you don't forget them. You can learn hundreds of useful English words inside my Vocabulary Builder courses. Each lesson in these courses also includes a quiz and short answer exercises to help these words stay in your memory. Click on the link in the video or in the description for more information and to sign up. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed today's lesson.